Everybody stop. How many of you are aware of the rising popularity of bow ties? It's alright if you haven't, because pretty soon you'll be in the loop. Whenever I am wearing a bow tie in public, I'm usually asked if I tied the tie myself. Usually the questioner is very impressed when they find out that I did in fact tie the bow tie myself. Now granted, tying a bow tie can be very difficult, but I'm here to teach you how to size, tie, and wear your very own bow tie. So first things first, you need to make sure your bow tie is the right length, because nothing is worse than tying your bow tie and finding out you have too much slack or not enough slack to make it tight. So first you need to check your collared shirt for the size, and then you need to look behind your bow tie and look at its sizes. Most of the bow ties, in fact all of the bow ties I've seen, are adjustable usually from a length of 14 to about 17. So take the clip and make it the length of your bow tie match the size of your shirt. I find that when I match the length of my tie to the size of my shirt that I have enough bow tie to tie it. So for example, I wear a 16 and a half shirt. I'll make the bow tie 16 and a half. So now we're ready to tie the tie. Pop your collar up and wrap the bow tie around your neck and let the ends hang down. You want both ends to be hanging down at an equal length. So you'll first you'll grab both ends and cross the left end over the right. Then you'll bring it up behind the loop and pull out of the loop. Then you'll want to pull the end that just came out of the loop to the right while pulling the lower loop end to the left to tighten it. And put the end that just came out of the loop over your shoulder. We'll use it later. So grab the end that is hanging down and you'll want to fold it at what I call the peak of its shape. The climax. The peak. There's really no other way to describe this part of the tie. So when you fold it, if you're looking in a mirror, it'll look like you're holding a bow tie. Because when you fold it there, that's it gives it that bow tie shape. So while holding the bow tie shape, take the end that was on your shoulder and drape it down the middle of the bow tie shape. The skinny part of the end should be over the middle of the bow tie shape. Then you want to pull the end together like that. And then while holding it in one hand, you want to pull this and then pull it down at the peak of the tree. It's going to be kind of difficult to make the next one. You'll notice that in the loop, Classy or funny and casual. A tie like this is bigger and it usually gives you that casual, funny look. They have, they come in all sorts of colors, so it can make you look funny or casual or both. They usually go, I usually wear them with a colored shirt and jeans, but really they can go with anything. And then, skinnier tie, I find it makes you look more classy, and I usually wear them with white shirts or dark shirts. 
and I wear them on formal occasions, like concerts and stuff. So, just as a recap, you just learned how to size and tie bow tie and you know what to wear and when to wear it. So now it's your turn. Go out there and find a bow tie and see if you can tie it. Go wear it the next time you're with your friends. Because a bow tie is cool and it's popular, but don't take my word for it. <laughs>